What do you think we are supposed to do in this question? Is that? What do you think we are supposed to do? So, how do you get an annual installment? How do you get an annual installment? You use the formula. You said you use the formula. <laughs> uh, so which formula? Are you talking about the geometric progression? Eh? Must you say Anna? We are not talking. Hey, Monka said, you better Monka sir. Hey, okay, they mean to allow me like coffee. Now, in this question, John has borrowed, okay? And he's supposed to pay the money back in how many years? 10 years. But the money has to be paid in also 10 equals installments. So the question is, we need to find the value of the money in 10 years. Then, we now come and find what? The equal installment using the geometric progression. So this is a compound interest and as well as what? The geometric progression approach. So we will use compound interest to get the money in 10 years time. How much is going to be paid in 10 years time? Then we will now come and put that here. Then we use the A, we calculate what? And find for the A. So using compounding interest, X out 1 plus R exponent N. So how much would the money be? So sum at the end of it, at the end, at the end of ten years, will be how much did he borrow? Fifty thousand dollars times what's the interest rate? Seven. Zero point zero seven exponent ten. Can I have an answer, please? Let's get how much the money will be at the end of ten years. Ninety eight. Hey, what's it ninety? Ninety eight thousand. Three fifteen. So this is how much the money is going to be in 10 years time. So of this future value, he must pay it in 10 equal what? installment. So to you, to get how much he has to pay every year, we use the geometric progression what? formula. So S will be equal to A out Rn minus 1 over R minus 1. So this is the thing. You must know when to use which formula and where. That's the principle. If not, then we'll be in trouble. So in this case, our S, which is the sum in the future, is 98357.56 equals A. That's what we're looking for. Out. What will be R? What will be R? 1.07, am I right? Exponent 10 minus 1 over 1.07 minus 1. So what do we do? Cross multiplication. Let me continue here. So 9,8357.56 times 1 point way minus way minus 0.07, right? Equals A out 1.07 exponent 10 minus 1. What do I have? 1.07 minus 1. So multiply. 
Five point zero three. Five point zero three. Equals A out one point zero seven exponent ten minus one. We divide by one point zero seven exponent ten minus one. One point zero seven exponent ten minus one. This will take that out. So the annual payment will be six eight eight five times point zero three over one point zero seven exponent ten minus one. What are we having? 7118.88 per annum. So that is how much John has to pay every year in order to be able to repay for the loan. In order to repay for the loan. He's paying that one for 10 years. He never gets in the next year. You don't multiply. You know, because of the compounding effect, so you will technically be paying that money at the end. You are just looking at how much he is paying. How much did he borrow? 50,000. So if he borrowed 50,000, this, this is how much he has to pay every year. To get an empty account. Not to get an empty Plus, in the compounding interest going forward will add up to get this. Yes. But if you look at it on the face value, you say the money will not become. But when you take the time value of money, the compounding interest into effect, it will be up to. So that is also how you deal with this. So it's all about the formulas, understanding the formulas, and know how. Sorry, knowing how to treat these things. It's very critical. It's very, very important. We're going to make these videos available, I think, from tomorrow. Either on the portal or on my Instagram TV. IGTV. Then let's look at the last question. Next question. Nikki has taken out a $200,000 mortgage. Nikki has taken out a $200,000 mortgage over 25 years. Nikki has taken out a $200,000 mortgage over 25 years. Interest is to be charged at 9%. 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 Required. Calculate the monthly repayment. Required. Calculate the monthly repayment. Calculate the monthly repayment. Fastest and three minutes. <laughs> okay, so with this question, as I mentioned, we will use what? The compounding interest to get how much money we will have to pay in 25 years' time. So, uh, X right now is how much? $200,000. What's the interest rate? Nine. Nine percent and is twenty-five years. So the money he will be paying in twenty-five years will be two hundred thousand dollars times into bracket or let us say into bracket one plus zero point zero nine exponent twenty-five. What do we have? One seven two four six one six. So you pay one point seven million. Two hundred and sorry, 
one million seven hundred twenty-four thousand six hundred sixteen dollars in twenty-five years. So now that we have how much he is going to be paying in twenty-five years time, we will now use the geometric progression formula to get an annual payment. So S equals A out R n minus one R minus one. So we substitute it one seven two four six one six equals A. That's what we're looking for. One point. 0.09 exponent 25 minus 1 over 1 1.09 minus 1. Does it make sense? 1.09 because that's 1 plus r. So when you do the workings, what do you have? What did you get for a? A. Mm -hmm. 23. 23. We are we told to do every year or every month? Yes. So to get a monthly monthly payment or repayment, it will be the 20, 20, 3, 6, 1, over 12. And that gives us 1, 6, 9, 6, 9, 7, 7. So you pay, Nikki will pay. 1,696.77 dollars every month for a poly poly 25. <laughs> for poly poly 300 months, just for a 200,000 dollar house. Just for a 200,000 dollar house. So that is it. Are you getting the same figure? One, yeah. one, 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 so do 23, 6, 1 over 12. Are you getting the same? 1, 6, <laughs> 9, 6, 7, 5. Is that what you got? What are you getting? Uh, you're getting okay, 169.6. Okay, the, the reason why I have 0.77 is this one, there was no So, me is having 169. Yeah. So, 1696. You had this. No, let's point again and see. 20. Point to the 20. The more point is there. Yes, so that's the answer. I point seven five. Every month, the seven seven is correct because the twenty dollars approximation. There. But I think add this. But I'm not pointing where I'm not point seven five. And if you point directly this, you get seven five. Oh. Okay. But on my calculator, not full amount, full amount. And I will give you it. So that's the idea. That's the idea. So this is what time value of money is. The rest of the thing there is present value and discounting. And you know it already from MPV. So what's the question?